Guardian Council, the Supreme Leader and the Guardian Council, they went ahead and picked seven motherfuckers. So Iran's going to have a competitive election. Iran is going to have a competitive election between seven different people. One of these candidates, Mosin Razi, Mosin Razi, he had previously promised to kidnap American soldiers in order to raise some ransom money. Well, that shit worked against Ronald Reagan. When I look at these different candidates, Mosin Razi, whatever the fuck... He's the meanest motherfucker. He's got a mean-ass face. It looks like somebody just kept on, you know, just beating the shit out of him for 40 years. And then, he, you know, for the next 40 years, he just was mean as fuck. He's just got this old, you know, catcher's mitt for a goddamn face. And he's got those eyebrows. And while, you know, that looks... I think that's fucking awful. Who the fuck could vote for, you know, a clear piece of shit? <laughs> a clear piece of shit like that. But when I look at the other six candidates, they have, you know, nice faces. So he's distinguished. He's the meanest motherfucker out of all these candidates. So you have, out of the other six candidates, they have, you know, nice, you know, faces. It looks like you could talk to them, right? Seems like they're okay. Except for this, Abdul, uh, this is from Wikipedia too, so Abdul Nazar, uh, Himati. This Himati, this motherfucker looks like an asshole for no fucking reason. He looks like he could have a kind face, but he just leans towards being an asshole for whatever fucking reason. So Mosin, he's an asshole through and through. If you're looking for a right-wing fascist asshole piece of shit, Mosin is your man. Mosin is your man. So Iran's elections is in seven days. That's one week from now. That's one week from now. So I'm going to go ahead and look at their programs, and then we'll talk about Iran's elections, and we'll talk about the New York City mayor's race for the next week or so. So this is, you know, this is what I'm doing. All right? June 18th, 2021 is Iran's elections. New York City mayor is four days later, June 22nd. Iran has high unemployment, spar and brawl. These are two laid-back English-speaking Arab guys, I'm not for sure if they're American. They seem like they're American, but I don't know. YouTube video titled, Iran Presidential Debate Number 2 Must Respect Sunnis, Focus on Minorities, Azeris, Azerbaijan, and Women. So they are paying attention. They, you know, would have probably better distinctions than the little bit of... But I'll get better, right, as I do more of these. Now, we already talked about Moses and Razi, right? The Iran Contra scandal. Ronald Reagan is going to give Iran money and weapons for kidnapping American troops during Jimmy Carter's empire. Jimmy Carter's empire never fired a shot. Ronald Reagan's empire, you know, invaded Nicaragua, El Salvador, Granada, just every fucking country that they could possibly invade without, you know, doing it overtly, because whatever. To declare war now in America, you got to do it behind closed doors, the military industrial complex, and then. Eventually, tell the American people later what the hell you did. So that's why Moose and Razi are saying that shit. Ronald Reagan went ahead and gave him precedent for saying that shit. It worked against Ronald Reagan. Well, shit, Moose and Razi thinks that kidnapping American soldiers, so that would be bad for America if that Moose and Razi gets elected. Now, another one of these candidates is uh, Ali Reza. Ali Reza Zakani. Ali Reza Zakani is a doctor in nuclear medicine, and that's is that like a nuclear scientist? Because if I'm an Iranian, I would vote for a nuclear scientist. That would be awesome. I mean, my God, with the whole fucking nuclear, you know, the Iran nuclear deal and this and that. Al Rezi Zakani, he's 55 years of age. Al Rezi Zakani, if he's a nuclear scientist, I mean, that kind of solves everything, right? He's a scientist. What are you going to say? He can't be himself. He can't fucking think. For 12 years, this nuclear medicine, I don't, nuclear medicine doesn't really sound like scientists. It sounds like he dabbles in the nuclear, but it almost seems like it could be alchemy. So, for 12 years, he served in the parliament for the holy city of Qom between 2004-2016. Won a seat last year as MP for Tehran. He advocates deploying the economic potential of the Iranian disappora. So, all the Iranians abroad, he wants them to, you know, give more money, and he also wants to develop the mining sector, so very vague, I have no idea who the, what the fuck this guy stands for, I just like the idea that Iran could vote for a nuclear scientist, so that's one candidate, Al Reza Zakani, Mosin Razi, Mosin Razi is another candidate, and then you also have Amir Hossein Gazizadah, 
Saeed Jalili Mu Sin um, May Rowley's Day. And then Ibrahim Razi. Or Razi or Raisin or something. You got Mosin Razi. You got Ibrahim Razi. Which Razi are we talking about? Right? Then you got Mosin, you know, Mirala Trolada. And then Mosin Razi. So you got one Mosin here, another Mosin there. One Razi here, another Razi there. It's like, fuck it. Just vote for Saeed Jalili. Just vote for Jalili. You know? Jesus Christ. So, Mosin Razi, what a prick, what a piece of shit, Jesus Christ, you just, when Mosin walks in the door, you just want to, you know, just start beating the shit out, what the fuck is the matter with you, why are you so serious, why are you so serious, my father was a drinker, and a fiend, Ibrahim Razi is a cleric who ran against Rouhani in 2017, He's like the front runner. They're actually saying that he's been anointed. So this Ibrahim Razi, we'll just say Ibrahim, right? Like Abraham, but no, it's with an E, right? So maybe that's better than Abraham, because Abraham's a piece of shit. Abraham was going to kill Isaac just because that fucking asshole God told him to. Fuck you, God. Get the fuck out of here. No, that Isaac is my son, you evil motherfucker. Ibrahim Razi, he is known for his involvement in the 1988 panel that sentenced thousands of dissidents, militants, and others to death after the Iran-Iraq war. So, a fucking genocide after the war. So, that, that happens a lot, though. You know, the Nuremberg trials, Haiti. Mosin, Razi, thousands, though. Fucking thousands. That's a lot of fucking blood. 1988, right? He's 30 fucking years, and he's going to be the next motherfucker that... He's got close ties to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. So, Ibrahim Razi, the, I think the Revolutionary Guard Corps is controlled by the Guardian Council, and then the Supreme Leader has the army. I'm not for sure. Mostly, the Supreme Leader and the Guardian Council has all the fucking power. I don't even know how much power these presidents even have. So, let's I'm kind of see, is there any other, that Sahi Jalili helped negotiate the 2015 nuclear deal and he sits on the Supreme National Security Council right now. Alarezi Zakani is a lawmaker and he owns the hardline Jahan News. Abdul Nazar Himmati, Him, head of the Central Bank of Iran, was the vice president of the state-owned state -owned Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting, the country's biggest media corporation. And then that Hashimi is a deputy speaker of parliament. Okay, okay, so what does any of this mean? Who gives a fuck, right? This is exciting. This is exciting. They're predicting low voter turnout rate, but I don't know why, because they're fucking cheating. They, they don't have a good democracy. They do rank low on the, democracy scale, on the democracy scales, but there's a choice. There's actual, you know, uh, when it comes to, I don't know how soon they inaugurate this new guy, but whatever, you know, in a month, uh, less than a year, the current president will not be the president, and you'll have another president for at least four years. And so the president, they got a constitution, it's just that the Supreme Leader and the Guardian Council takes all the power that they feel like fucking taking, and so it's like the president tries to do this or tries to do that, and then the Supreme Leader and the Guardian Council pushes back, so it's almost like the president has to push up against all these really entrenched institutions and that's incredible. It almost makes me want the president to win and then for the president to get rid of the Supreme Council and the, um, you know, Guardian Council, the Supreme Leader and the Guardian Council. I don't know if that would be possible because it all has to go through that damn Supreme Leader, the Khomeini. And Ayatollah Khomeini, he's been dead since 1989. Who knew, right? But the new Khomeini, he's been running shit for 33 fucking years. The Supreme Leader, the Khomeini, right? The second Khomeini, Khomeini Jr., the little Khomeini, baby Khomeini, Khomeini the second, the Boogaloo, the terrible sequel. So the Khomeini, he's uh, Iran's Assad. You know, Assad was in there for, what, uh, 30 years and then 20 years. So 50 years, right, like these forever dictators like the Assad, the first Khomeini was in there for 10 years. Now, this is actually a remarkable, you know, story. The supreme leader of Iran, the, where this position came from was the Iranian Revolution. You had the 1979 Iranian Revolution, which is going to bring the Ayatollah Khomeini into power. And Ayatollah Khomeini is actually Saeed Ruhollah Musavi Khomeini. 
He died 18, you know, 1989. He's the founder of the Islamic Republic of Iran. He's the leader of the 1979 Iranian Revolution, which overthrew the last Shah of Iran, Mohammad Rezi Pahlavi, and that ended the 2,500-year Persian mon monarchy. So the 1979 Iranian Revolution was huge, right? So he's like the father of the fucking country, this Ayatollah Khomeini. But it's been 33 years now, and that Ali Khomeini, Khomeini number two, he's been in there, you know, 1989, 2021. That's 33 fucking years. So Iran is run by a dictator. How do I know that Iran's a dictator? Because Khomeini's ran your country for 30, 33 motherfucking years, for three fucking decades. Ronald Reagan only got the 80s. You only get one decade. You get 10 years at the most. You don't get 33 goddamn motherfucking years. How long does uh, Ali goddamn Khomeini get to fucking run shit? It's fucking bullshit. So the reason, the biggest impediment, the biggest block for Iran's democracy is the Supreme Leader and the Guardian Council. <clears throat> Without the Guardian Council, there are a body of 12 legal experts appointed by the Khomeini, so you have a bunch of legal experts, you got the supreme fucking leader, Iran is run by a dictator, totalitarian dictatorship, who are a bunch of theocratic lawyers, a bunch of theocratic lawyers, Iran, you're being ran by a bunch of theocratic lawyers, how fucking stupid are you, an absolute totalitarian dictator, you know the good thing about lawyers is they usually fucking punk ass chumps, so one good boxer could theoretically, you know, just beat the shit out of everybody in the Guardian Council and the Supreme Leader. Just beat the shit out of every single one of them. So you just, all Iran needs is to get a progressive, you know, a progressive Iranian who knows how to fight. So like a Nelson Mandela, Muhammad Ali, that's all Iran needs. All Iran needs is a Nelson Mandela slash Muhammad Ali, and their problems will be over. The Supreme Leader... So they have all the fucking power, right? They have all the power. So what power does the president even have? Anything? Ahmadinejad tried to do shit, but the Supreme Leader kept on fucking cock-blocking him and shit. So the Supreme Leader is also the commander-in-chief, so that means he controls all the fucking military and shit. The battleship that they just sent to the Americas, you know, to help Venezuela refuel, I think that was his decision. I think. But I also feel like Supreme Leader runs the Navy and military, the official Navy and military, but the Revolutionary Corps Guard, that's actually being run by the Guardian Council. So maybe the Guardian Council actually sent it. Either way, Venezuela, remember when Hugo Chavez gave poor New Yorkers heating oil to get poor New Yorkers warmth during the winter? Remember when Hugo Chavez did that for the poor New Yorkers? Anyway, Supreme Leader Khomeini, he's the Commander-in-Chief and the Guardian Council. They interpret the Constitution of Iran. They could veto all the laws by Iran's operating legislative government, micromanage elections, interpret the Constitution. So the Guardian Council is like the Supreme Court. It's like the President. It's the veto power. It's like the legislature. It's like all three branches of government, but none of them at the same time. They micromanage elections. They disqualify liberals, even the popular ones. And then they have their own Islamic Revolutionary Corps Guard. So they got their own army, the Guardian Council. They interpret the Constitution. They can veto all the laws that the government passes, and they micromanage elections. Jesus Christ. And they got their own fucking military. So maybe that shit going to Venezuela is actually from the Guardian Council. Who the fuck knows? I wonder if Iran even knows who sent that damn ship out. So the Freedom House gives Iran 16 out of 100, Syria 1 out of 100. So Syria has the worst democracy in the world, according to Freedom House. And then Iran only gets 16 points out of 100. So Iran is well below Peru, Germany, America. Terrible democracy, right? Awful democracy. But there's some, you know, there's some decent, uh, there's, it's a competitive election, and you're also going to have 29 million voters, at least 30 million, 29 to 30 million. Virginia couldn't even get 1 million. They couldn't even get 1 million to vote for that Terry McCullough. 5 million Virginians boycotted the election. 5 million Virginians boycotted the Democrat primary for Terry McCullough. Only 10% turnout rate. So if only 35% turnout, you know, for this election, that's still better democracy than Virginia. So Virginia, you know, this is for Iran and Syria and Virginia. Can you actually imagine, like, living in a democracy, like an actual, legit, true, blue democracy? Could you imagine living in a nation where 
the people actually ran things, not the oligarchs or the plutocrats, but the, the salt of the earth, the humble, the common. They list rights, but they don't enforce them. But to actually be part of a real democracy, to be part of a caucus, an organization where the body makes collective decisions and what's good for the body, and then they execute, right? They make those decisions, they figure out what's good for the body, and then they execute those motions with swift precision. My God, to live in a democracy. America, I have a dream. I want to live in a democracy. I want to live in a democracy where the people have the power. Maybe one day, America, maybe one day. I have a dream. I have a dream today. So I ran. I ran on over to Iraq and then ran back to Iran. And I racked on over to Iran and I ran on over to Iraq. I think I ended off with that. Iran's got seven people to choose from for president. All seven, I think, are principalists. They're, you know, fucking right wing as shit. Two, we're told they're like moderates and shit, which is going to hurt their candidacy. It's going to hurt their campaigns, calling any of them moderate liberal, which means what? They'll actually uh, negotiate. They'll actually have diplomacy when it comes to. And that's actually, Joe Biden should reach out to that. He should just go to fucking Iran. Go to the moderate. He wants to talk to him. One of these motherfuckers wanted to talk to Joe Biden or what have you. But that can't be good for Iran's elections to have the fucking empire, you know, endorse your ship. So I think when they say two moderates, I think what they're saying is that they're friendly to the United States. That doesn't make it the moderate. I think a moderate would just be... I mean, do they want universal health care? Do they want, are they socialists? Are they Marxists? Do they care about their people? That's the shit I want to fucking know. Do they believe in Milton Friedman, you know, laissez-faire economics? Where, what do they believe about anything? I mean, really, it's just a goddamn shot in the dark at this point. You got to know, really, everything about these motherfuckers that you could possibly find out to see. I mean, look at their programs, right? That should give you some direction. What are they promising? What are they talking about? That should give you some direction about the direction that they want to lead Iran towards, so there you go, there you go, there's a little bit about democracy, or a little bit about Iran's democracy, not the greatest democracy, but there's a choice, it's a competitive election, which makes it better than Syria, and since it's competitive, you could actually look at these seven, I bet you, you know, and then whoever's president will be the fucking president, so this is going to change politics, I don't know how substantial, I don't know if it's going to be a revolutionary thing that changes everything for the positive, for the good, or if it's just going to be, you know, just another, just, you know, circling the same motherfuckers, just endless parade of dog and ponies, right, nonstop. Anyways, more.